Barry Lawler <laughs> spent more than 50 years playing and working for local football teams. But in 2012, he was diagnosed with dementia and died just two years later. His daughter Donna is convinced trauma to his head during games played a huge part in his death. The era of the old brown leather footballs. My dad always used to say heading one of those when wet was like heading a lump of concrete. It is, from, it's obvious that that is what eventually killed him. The thing he loved most in the world was the thing that killed him. Donna's story tallies with new research from University College London. It's found people who experienced head injuries in their 50s or younger all scored lower on cognitive tests at the age of 70. We found that people who had a head injury had um, worse performance in memory tests, um, some tests on processing and speed um, and thinking, and also some differences in um, some of the structure of the brain. So we were able to look at lots of different measures of brain health, and the measures that were affected or linked with head injury were those structural changes. The research involved testing 502 participants, a fifth of whom had previously suffered a head injury. This study adds further evidence on how head injuries can lead to long-term effects on the brain. But the research team is keen to stress that it's not just those involved in sport who can be affected. The authors say the study shows anyone who has suffered head injuries in early or mid-life may see a small but significant impact on their brain's health. This study didn't look specifically at sports injuries, and so I think that's a really important distinction to make. Um, but I think one of the things that um, we need to always consider is whilst the evidence um, comes in to try and reduce risk of traumatic brain injury wherever possible. It's hoped the research will do more to raise awareness of how head injuries can impact our lives, including how they may make people more vulnerable to symptoms of dementia. Dan Whitehead, Sky News in Cardiff.